Hello and welcome to the release video for Dialux Evo 8. We're bringing you some new features. Features that should make your everyday work easier, faster, more comfortable, so you can enjoy Dialux Evo even more. I think the most relevant one is the import of JPEGs. But before starting with this one, I want to show you something which we have implemented at the beginning of Dialux Evo. If you start now room planning, you have the choice to create a rectangular room like you could do all the time or a free room shape. The methods here are unchanged, but you may notice that you may insert here now a wall thickness, for example, of 25 or 50 centimeters. Now let's start with the free room design. I would like to start in this place and you probably are already familiar with the procedure. It's enough to move to one direction, click on tap and insert a length. You can confirm this angle of zero degrees by clicking return once more. Now I would like to move upwards. I insert the direction, click tap, insert a value and confirm the angle. Now the same to the left side. Tap, for, confirm, confirm. I may also change to a different angle. I'm pointing upwards to get an indicator for the direction. Two meters and another tap to insert, for example, 110 degrees. As you may know, Dialux Evo has a preference to create orthogonal angles. Therefore, it is easy to place the last point for this room. If I click on the right, I can close the polygon. As you can see now, we have automatically created that room. Now this methodology can also be used in conjunction with JPEGs as a background. Let me show you first how to insert a JPEG and how to create rooms immediately without the necessity to create an exterior contour. So now let's go the traditional way of outer and indoor planning. The possibility of inserting a PNG or a JPEG or a DWG is always the same and applies to interiors and exteriors. The method on how to import is always the same and relies on a few steps. The first one would be the definition of the x-axis, which might, for example, be horizontally downwards. Next step would be the definition of a length. So the scale is set up correctly. Therefore, I strongly suggest that you either use a measuring line that you have on your design or a long distance, which is more precise than using a short distance to define the scale. Here in this case, we have a four meter length of this line and the scale is done correctly and it's sufficient to finish. Otherwise, I would go back or cancel the entire process. A JPEG as a background may be moved around, just like you know from DWGs, and you may insert several of those so you can even combine them. There's one other feature which you have only with JPEGs, which is the option to have it transparent or intransparent, which can be very useful in complex design situations. Now, let me move on to the creation of the room immediately. So I can skip the new building part and go immediately to the room construction. I may insert a height here in this place and I want to create just two or three rooms. One, two, three, four, and close. And as you can see, that room has been created. Now let's do the room right next to it. One, two, three, and four. 
closed polygon. And as you see, the rooms have been automatically combined with a common separating wall. A feature that we have implemented in Dialux Evo 8. Now let's create another room slightly away from the first two ones which we've created. And close polygon. As you may have noticed, they're part of the same story and you can use the room view just as you're used to. The method also applies to exterior situations. Let's try this one as well. So let's use an exterior project. So I've taken this picture from Google Maps and I go through the same steps as before. First point, last point to define that it is horizontal. Now I can use that line here to define the length of 20 meters. 20 meters. Confirm. Now let me start with that building as a block. I know it is 11 stories high. Draw your building. 11 and close polygon. Let's look at this project. Here I have 11 stories and I could make the JPEG more transparent so that the building itself stands better out. We have implemented two other small modifications. One refers to the north arrow, which can be activated at the bottom right in any view. So it will be visualized in floor plan and in 3D view. And you may set the coordinate system for the story, for example, based on this axis, or for a single room differently. And the layout of your screen is going to adapt accordingly, making for you the orientation easier as well as for the printouts at the end. A third small modification has been invented for the luminaires. As you can see here, we have automatically calculated for you the luminous efficacy of each and every luminaire. Like in this case, we have close to 100 lumens per watt to illuminate a room like this. Another small function that might help you in the daily work is the possibility to center each object inside a room. For example, I've been inserting the sofa into this room by using drag and drop. Now I want to center it right exactly into this room. Therefore, it's enough to click on the right and center it in the area that I can select. So I may even decide to use it and center it in another area. I hope and we here all at DL hope that these small and major improvements make your daily workflow easier and you will have more fun and more success in using our software. Thank you for listening and watching. Bye bye.